I'm going to show you how to make hands and feet. And you want to make sure that you go ahead and add these to your gargoyle pretty soon after you have put on the arms and or the legs. If you wait too long on this step, your arms and or your legs are going to get too dry and you're going to have trouble blending the two together. And that gets really frustrating. So please don't wait to add your hands and feet. Now there's a few different ways that you can do this. Um, I'm going to show you just some basic concepts and then you can tweak it to um, whatever kind of design appeals to you. You're going to start out with a ball of clay and to do a hand, of course you want to do a smaller ball of clay. To do a foot, I would use a larger ball of clay. Um, the size of it depends on you know, the size of the hand or the foot. One of the first things you want to make sure of is that your arms are not so long already that they're meeting too close together. You need to have a little bit of a gap between your arms, otherwise you're not going to have room to put your hands on. Once you've done that, I'm going to take my smaller ball of clay and I'm going to flatten it out with my hand. Whoops. And then just kind of shape it. One side I'm going to flatten out because that's where I'm going to be attaching it to my arm. So I'm just going to gently tap it on the table and then continue shaping it until I have something that looks like this. Now from there, we're going to go ahead and add the little fingers or claws. Um, if it's a paw, like on a puppy or a kitten or something like that, then you want to take that into consideration when you do the next step because we're going to make some cuts. I'm going to use an X-Acto knife to do this. And I'm going to just start by cutting into the clay. I'm going to go all the way through. And then I have something that looks like this. Now if I look at the other side though, my cuts didn't quite make it all the way through. So I'm going to try that again. All right, there we go. Now I can separate my little fingers here. Make sure everything looks nice and neat. And then you have to think about what do I want the tips of my fingers to look like. If you want, you can take your X-Acto knife or you could just use your fingers to reshape it if you wanted to. And I can make them a little pointier at the end so that it looks like little claws. Or you could round them out and then it would look more like a paw if that's the look you're going for. All right, so there's my little hand. So that wasn't too hard to make. So for the next step, I'm going to attach it to my gargoyle. I'm going to be putting it on sideways like this. Make sure that I like the way it looks first off. And then I'm going to do my score marks on the back side of my hand or where the wrist is. And then on the very end of my arm. Okay, so there we go. And then a little bit of water. Oops, oh no. Set that down in the wrong spot. A little bit of water to help blend the two together or attach the two. Okay, now this part is probably the hardest part about creating the hands and or the legs is blending the two. I start off by blending as best I can with the clay that's already there. Okay, then if it seems like it's not attached well enough, what you can do is take a little bit of clay and roll a small coil and essentially wrap it around the wrist almost like your gargoyle has a bracelet. Okay, so I'm going to pretend that I scored and slipped that on so that the video doesn't get too long. Um, once that's on there, we can go ahead and blend it. Blend it on the back side, which is kind of hard to get to. Okay, 
Hey, now if I leave it like this, it almost looks like my gargoyle is wearing a shirt. If you like that look, you could leave it like that, or you could go ahead and continue to blend it on the front side that attaches to the hand as well. And our hand is all done. The only last step I sometimes add is I want to make the fingers look like they're curved. And once I get it on, I gently curve the fingers or the hand. And then you could even have your gargoyle holding something if you wanted to. Okay, so now we've got a hand on there. Let's go ahead and talk about feet. There you go. Feet are the same concept, except now I'm working with a larger ball of clay. So here's my larger ball of clay. I'm going to flatten it out. You start to shape it on the sides. It looks like it's a little too round. Okay. Now I'm going to tap one side of it on the mat just to flatten it out. Okay, now you actually only need to do that if you're doing a certain kind of foot. For instance, if I wanted to attach it underneath this side, okay, um, I could go ahead and flatten it out if I was attaching something like this. Well, actually, I guess you could flatten it out either way. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. You can flatten one side of it out for either kind of leg. Okay, if I like the way it looks, I'm gonna go ahead and cut some toes. So again, I'm using my X-Acto knife. I don't know if I said this before in the video, but you wanna make sure you don't make your toes or your fingers so thin that they easily break. Because that happens pretty frequently. So be careful for that, or be or watch out for that rather. Okay, I'm going to pull these apart. Alright. Now I can go ahead and change the end shape. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to just gently Cut the very tip of each finger or toe. These are toes, not fingers. And then shape it with my hands. Make sure I like the way it looks. Okay. Now, two ways that you can attach this. If you have the leg that's coming out straight, okay, you can attach it to the front like this. And you would score and slip and then wrap that little coil around the bottom of the leg, almost like you're putting an anklet on instead of a bracelet. Make sure the whole thing is blended together. The other thing that you could do, here's what it looks like from the side. If you have this style leg, then you would want to score and slip the top, score and slip the bottom of this, and then that sits underneath just like that. I'm actually going to attach the foot to this leg, so I'm going to score and slip underneath here. I'm going to score and slip the top of the foot where my leg is attaching. A little bit of water. All right. And then I'm going to blend the two pieces together. If I feel like I need to wrap that extra piece around, I can. If it seems like I've got it blended together well without that, that's okay too. If you're adding a foot to the bottom of a leg like this, make sure you pick it up and blend underneath. Because that is an easy spot to forget, as I said in previous videos.
All right. Now, just like with the hands, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and curl the toes under. Just be really gentle when you do this. Make sure that your toes aren't too dry if you are going to bend them. You might want to put a little bit of water on your clay first, and then you won't get the cracking that you could otherwise get. And underneath. Remember to be really careful when you bag your gargoyle up, when you do start to add things like arms, legs, hands, and feet. Those things can easily snap off when you put your gargoyle under plastic. So just be really careful. Always pick your gargoyle up carefully, whether it's in plastic or out of plastic. All right, thanks, bye.